Hello and welcome to the last video on this channel before following seas is in your hands. I anticipate that there's going to be a lot of questions, comments, criticisms and general discussion once the demo is released. So I wanted to put together a short video um, to uh, go over what's going to be included in the demo um, as well as what you can do to uh, post bug reports and have your comments heard. So in terms of content, the demo includes a scaled down area of the game world uh, with three islands and one other thing uh, within approximately a 10 kilometer square. You can of course travel beyond this, but there is nothing to find out there yet. Three ships are present in the demo, um, although only one can be directly controlled by the player at this time, that being the Caravelle. Uh, most features are present, but some of them are in very early states, and you are very likely to experience bugs. Um, I would consider this midway between a conventional demo uh, and a pre-alpha testing version. Um, I've tried to minimize the amount of serious issues, but some will still probably persist at times, uh, as well as performance is not where I plan for it to be in the future. Optimization is in a very early state, for example. There are some known issues uh, that you'll definitely experience, um, such as not all options are implemented yet, audio options, for example. Um, some other options, while present, need to be set when you launch the game. They won't automatically detect, so you may see that uh, the game launches in a resolution that is improper to your screen. Right now, the game only officially supports 16x9 resolutions, uh, as that's simply all I've tested it with. It will work in other resolutions, I expect, without major issue, um, but you may see things like uh, um, text overflow or misaligned um, UI elements. Uh, as far as system requirements, you're going to need around 10 gigs for the... Uh, for the demo. Um, in terms of performance, it should be playable on a wide range of systems, but you'll likely experience things like frame drops and uh, uh, poor frame rate in some areas depending on your um, on your system. I uh, For these videos, it's running on a, a fairly powerful system with a uh, 4070, uh, and it's quite comfortably able to manage 60 frames per second. Um, it will also run playably on a uh, Steam Deck, uh, which has been a target system for me. Um, in its current state, there are going to be some, some issues. Uh, it can slow down in certain areas and you'll need to drop the graphics down a bit, but it's, it's definitely playable. Uh, probably the biggest draw right now is going to be VRAM. So if you have less than, say, 4 gigs of VRAM, um, at least if you're planning for high-res textures or higher resolution, um, you may have to drop the uh, texture quality um, a bit. Um, or uh, toggling off cloth collisions, for example, will will gain you a fair bit of performance if you're having issues. Um, and beyond that, I apologize for the state it's in. I'm fairly happy with where it's come, but obviously the main stretch of optimization comes once the game is much more close to feature complete. So another thing I wanted to go over in brief um, is the sailing system because I, I've seen a number of questions regarding um, the kind of point to point or rope to cleat setup I currently have. Um, I think there might be uh, a bit of lack of clarity into how exactly that works. Um, so I wanted to give a bit of a, a clearer demonstration. 
Uh, so right now the sails are just in their default position, which isn't ideal for the wind direction. There's a bit of a bad tack going on with it fouled up against the mast. <clears throat> Uh, and as many of you have seen in other videos, the current version I have going on is where you can take a rope mounted at the fore and aft of the yard um, and place it on any cleat to control its position. But this isn't a static position um, because unlike some, uh, some other projects, you're not... Uh, setting a position that the yard is going to conform to rather you are influencing the ranges with which it can move because uh, the sails and the yards are controlled almost entirely by the wind rather than any direct player intervention uh, so instead your job is to position the uh, the points in such a way that they are better able to catch the wind uh, and that's more than just position to position. You can also control, for example, the length of ropes uh, using the mouse wheel or the triggers if you're using a controller. Uh, for example, right now with the wind coming from behind, we'd want to allow this to swing around and gain a fair bit of uh, length. Um, so, for example, I'm going to spool it out a fair bit. Um, and you can see that the yard has swung around on its own, um, and is able to catch the wind a bit more fully. Um, within the options, you can also, uh, toggle on a multiplier display, uh, for people who are listening to what I'm saying here and thinking I'm speaking nonsense, uh, which will display on each mast a multiplier, um, to indicate the effectiveness of the sail's current position. So uh, a multiplier of one would be uh, that the sail is gaining um, it sort of the default amount less than one would be a negative value. Um, and in ideal circumstances, it would be higher than one, up to about a maximum of 1.5, depending on the ship. But in any way, you can see um, I've swung it around such that the, uh, the sail is better able to catch the wind, whereas the mizzen sail there is still fouled up in the mast and would need uh, a similar treatment done to it to be able to, to catch the wind better. Uh, and for example, if I reeled it right back in, the mast would swing over, lose all wind, and... The ship has a fair bit of momentum, but it would slow down quite quickly in this case. Um, so it, it is more than just a sort of point-to-point -point setup, but of course I'm more than happy to consider uh, refinements and changes over time. But uh, I wanted to give a clear example of that. Uh, I, I'd like to do the same for the junk sails as well, but they are in a... Uh, an earlier state and still need some work before they're fully finalized. Now I know many of you are already members on the Discord, but for everyone else or any newcomers, if you're interested in playing and want to submit your thoughts, um, issues, bugs, or any other kind of communication, you can join the Discord or send me an email. Uh, both of these are going to be linked um, on the demo menu uh, as well as through these YouTube videos for example. Uh, regardless, I hope that you enjoy the content thus far. I very much appreciate the support that's been given over the last couple of years uh, and I hope that uh, the content of this demo is going to uh, meet your expectations um, but in the meantime the team is going to be hard at work, the team being me and a myopic wiener dog. Uh, and the demo will be out today. <laughs>